Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Gilligan's Island, more specifically about Russell Johnson, who played the amazing professor on the show. I do want to give you all a big thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing because that has really made the channel overall jump in popularity recently that is all due to your support so thank you very much i do appreciate it now we know all of you being big fans of the show that's of course why you do watch these videos and you do support the shows and of course you support me that you want to know russell johnson's amazing talent now i have made a video with other shows and other individuals who have had a very similar talent but not everyone who's in show business and in tv shows and sitcoms has this talent and i think you'll be pleasantly surprised at his talent before i get into it i want to let you know how we know about this talent and that is directly from the man himself from bob denver he played of course gilligan on gilligan's island and he does preface telling us about his talent with this very interesting sentence and I do want to highlight it because I've seen this so many times in the comments it is one of the most known things and that is that people bash the professor and him not being able to fix that boat well let me tell you this comes from Bob Denver himself who stated that every single experiment that was seen on the show was real and what he meant by real was that it could be replicated in a lab it is not just a bunch of things put on a table but actual experiments that at that time in the 1960s could be replicated so that is really cool now he's not talking about the inventions necessarily but all the experiments that you saw and i think that's really amazing that he was able to do that now he continues by saying that russell johnson had many talents and one of them being the fact that he was very believable at being the part of the professor now there was another actor who actually played the professor in the pilot. His name was John Gabriel, but he was let go after that pilot because they thought that he wasn't the right fit for the character. And so then they hired Russell Johnson. Now going back to what Bob Denver was saying, Johnson had the amazing ability to memorize the script super quickly, pretty much in, during his first read. And remember, his writing, well, at least the writing for his part, was very complicated with all these scientific names, all these equations. And let me tell you that Russell Johnson was not great at science. In fact, he didn't do that great at school, according to him. And he was able to memorize pretty much all of these things super quickly. And he was asked by Bob Denver, he said, how do you memorize all this gobbledygook, he calls it. And Johnson answered, well, he spent long hours actually doing research in an encyclopedia, looking pretty much everything up, all these calculations, he would look up all these terms so he would put a meaning behind what he was saying. He didn't just memorize the words himself. And this helped him remember what he had to say. It was never true that he messed up lines making long speeches, but of course it did rarely happen. It was amongst the most rare of any of the cast members, but they actually gave him a hard time. Whenever he would do this again because it was so rare, they were all very sarcastic and they would shout out, Hey Russ, can't you even memorize a few stupid lines? Others would say, maybe we should just shut down the whole production and give him time to learn them they all acted like they were disgusted and they would walk off the set. Now, interestingly enough, Russell just stood there. He smiled and he waited very patiently until everyone came back to continue the scene. On the second take, of course, every single time he nailed it perfectly without having to do a third take. Is this something that surprises you at all? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you like and enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments that you did subscribe and I'll do my best to answer your comment. We'll see you next time, guys and gals, and don't forget, be hopeful. Thank you to my top contributors, Kenneth B and Verbal Volley, as well as my Patreon supporters, Andrew, David, and Joe.